Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. We are currently situated at Kilo Tango Tango Foxtrot and today we're going to be taking a look at Goodway, a nifty flight planning tool for X-Plane 11. The nice thing about Goodway is that it integrates with the X-Plane 11 environment. It is accessible from the plugins menu but also comes with preset keyboard assignments to help you use the plugin. You do have to read the manual to find your way around but hopefully I can provide you with some insight on using Goodway in this video. Let us begin with an overview of what good stuff Goodway has to offer. And we're going to begin here by clicking on Control A, which is one of the preset keyboard assignments to bring up the flight plan window. Now, the flight plan window is where all the flight planning takes place. Uh, we can create a uh, plan using the, flight, the automated flight plan builder or paste our uh, flight plan manually. And of course, we can load a saved uh, flight plan from this icon here. This is for frequencies and the nice thing about Goodway is that it allows you to copy the flight plan that you create here onto the aircraft as long as it is one of the default um, aircraft in X-Plane or if it's an aircraft that uses the default Garmin device of um, X-Plane. It has also support for the JAR design A320 and A330. As you can see, this is a small list at the moment of supported aircraft, but what I've noticed is that it works with any aircraft that has the default Garmin X-Plane devices. The next thing here, S and S, that's the SIDS and STARS, and this is a new feature in Goodway 5.2.1, uh, where it actually gives you the SIDS and STARS, and this Earth icon here brings up the moving map. Now, this map is a very useful map because it allows you, it's very versatile, it gives you the ability to show and hide the information that you want to see or not see and as you can see here let me just click real quick here so that's us right there that's the aircraft and we can show let me zoom out so you can see so we can show VOR um, stations or hide them we can show the fixes um, there's a ton of other information that we can uh, show or hide all right, let us go ahead now and create a flight plan to take a closer look at the features that Goodway has to offer. We're going to click on the flight plan builder. We're going to select our departure airport, which is Kilo Tango Tango Foxtrot. And the destination is Kilo Delta Foxtrot Whiskey. Uh, we're going to select SIDS and STARS, low altitudes, and we're going to say create. It's going to take a while now to create the flight plan. There we go flight plan is done. Now the nice thing about this is that you can go to this little icon here and copy the entire flight plan to the X-Plane ATC. That's one thing. The other thing is that we can actually copy this entire flight plan to the uh, GNS device here. So we're going to say FMS GPS GNS with airport flight plan sent to X-Plane uh, X -Plane FMS. So if we click now on flight plan, as you can see, we have the entire flight plan here, uh, which is very, very cool. Not only that, but what I really like about Goodway is that it gives you the ability to interact with the flight plan. So if, for example, if you go to the departure airport and double click, it will give you a, uh, a map of the airport. That's the runway. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, position, starting positions here and the really cool feature is that you're able to set the radios automatically. So we are going to go here. We're going to set this to COM1. Custer weather. There you go. Calm. Visibility more than 10. And the same thing, Sky of course, clear. with the CTAF frequency. Zero. Dew point. Not only that, but you can set it to the standby frequency. So 134.3 Detroit approach, we can set it to COM1 standby. So now this is the standby frequency and you can switch between the frequencies as you wish. A very useful feature and something I really appreciate in this flight planning tool. Another thing that you can do in, uh, in good way is you, another way you can interact with this map is by hitting on the ALT button. So if we go to this fix and hit ALT, you are now able to set the autopilot heading to 218 as you can see. Or I can, for example, come over here, set it to 223. As you can see now, it has changed. Um, not only that, but you can also set the altitude to 5,000. 
uh, in preparation for this waypoint. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this map. By the way, you can change the altitudes if you don't want them. You can, for example, come here and just say uh, 300. So that's flight level 3000. Um, and, and this is something I really appreciate in this, um, in this flight planning tool. Another thing you can do, and by the way, this works for all the aircraft in X-Plane that uses the default X-Plane GNS devices. In addition to that, you, it uses, you can also use the, um, it's compatible with Jar Design and the Aerobasque aircraft. Right, so SIDs and STARS, if we click, there are no SIDs for this particular departure, but there are STARS uh, for our destination. And if you look down here, it will tell you which star it is. So it's the finger five. Uh, we'll just go ahead and scroll down here. And you know what, let me bring up the flight. As you can see now, we have the flight plan mapped here. And let's select the finger five. There we go, that's the one. So that is the star uh, into our uh, destination airport. And I'm gonna click on plus here. It says, do you really wanna add this star to your flight plan? Not conventional, I'm gonna say add. Okay, as you can see now, the flight plan has the star uh, programmed uh, into the flight plan and everything is ready for our departure. Um, another thing you can do with this map, by the way, is you can change the if you click on this plus button here, uh, you can actually go to these fixes and you can change, I uh, beg your pardon, I think it is this one here. Yep. So now I can actually change this if I want, but we're just going to leave this as it is. You can also use the zoom feature to zoom on a particular sector if you like. Well, let's take it back to our, this is our aircraft here. And what we'll do is we're gonna depart and take a look at the uh, moving map now. We just departed our departure airport. And let me bring back the flight plan. So I've enabled the um, autopilot now. And as you can see now, we are following the flight plan. This is us right there. And we're heading over to uh, Cosma. Another thing that you can do with the, uh, with the moving map is you can show the um, actual labels of the airports, the VOR stations, NDB stations. You can also um, show the information of all the fixes and right there. So these are the frequencies now. So this is an ADF frequency. This is a VOR frequency. As you can see, it's a very useful tool. Uh, it works very well for all the aircraft that have the default to explain Garmin devices. Personally, I really highly recommend this uh, flight planning tool. I think it's a very useful tool, and I know that a lot of you would have a lot of appreciation uh, for this. As you can see now, we've reached 5,000 feet, so this is the um, altitude that I've set previously uh, when I used, uh, you know, when we used the Alt button just to show you guys how to uh, manipulate the autopilot. So it has uh, stopped at 5,000 feet. Well, folks, uh, this really brings us uh, to the conclusion of our short show today. I hope that this was an insightful and useful look at uh, Goodway 5.2 for X-Plane 11. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye for now.